so this uh, so this presentation is all about uh, under this uh, nipam that mean uh, national intellectual property awareness mission so under this mission uh, uh, as we know that we are celebrating azadi ka amrit march of that is 75 years of independence uh, yeah, in 15 august 2022 so under this mission this mission has been formulated especially to create awareness uh, among uh, among all the students and all the faculty members and all the scientists regarding ip so this presentation will be a very basic presentation and and what i been uh, been uh, directed is so this uh, today in this 45 minute session i will uh, tell you the basics of ipr and uh, what exactly is and how to do a prior art search and in half of the session i will take it again on the 5th august i think i don't know the time but uh, my able colleague orna he will uh, uh, schedule the program again on the 5th august so before just start this program i have two requests sincere request the first is if you have any kind of doubt or if you don't go through anything because uh, anything so you can just stop at me at that time and you can ask the question i can look at the chat box or the second request is it may happen that because you all are eminent scholars and you are all a scientist it, it, it may happen that you have already uh, have knowledge about ipr and you have already filed different kinds of ip patents and all so this presentation is going to be very basic uh, i request all of you to try to uh, cooperate with me so let's start this presentation so <laughs> basics of intellectual property uh, so when someone will ask uh, what exactly is ipr so what you can say what uh, what is your answer so what exactly is ipr because in, uh, when when i was before 10 uh, five years ago when i was a research scholar in iit bombay uh, someone asked me what exactly ipr so there was no uh, answer for for that question uh, with me because i don't know what exactly ipr is at my time because ipr feels like a jargon this word feels like a jargon for me because intellectual property rights i don't understand what exactly is property rights is. so this is my strategy when i don't get some word or when, whenever i don't get some uh, acronym like or uh, maybe jargon kind of words like ipr i usually uh, usually like break it in two to three words so ipr consists of intellectual property rights so whenever we uh, this is a phrase right so whenever we break it so there are three words the first one is intellectual the second word is property and the third word is right right so that is abbreviated as intellectual property right so if we talk about each word then we will get what exactly is ipr so the first word we talk about is property because it is the easier word to talk about so what exactly is property is so whenever in a, in our day to day world so whenever we say something or say say someone about property then normally what we feel is property is some kind of physical property normally we denote physical property is a property if someone will ask you what property you have normally people will answer i have four wheelers i have uh, land i have car or anything so these properties what we talk about in our day to day life is known as physical property but there are some kind of properties that are in tangible property that means we cannot touch and feel but those properties are more valuable as compared to physical properties and that properties is known as intellectual properties so now there must be a question in your mind sir it's fine that we have a we have a different kind of properties some are physical and some are no, not physical that mean intangible properties but why those intangible properties are known as intellectual properties because most of the intellectual properties are creation of your human mind that's why so whatever is created from a human intellect that is known as intellectual property so it's very uh, normal thing right now so we get what exactly intellectual property is so if next time someone will ask what exactly intellectual property is that mean you can say the property that is created from a human mind that mean you all people are researchers you all people are scientists your brain is working fast and whatever you you are thinking is important whatever you are doing research is important whatever you are inventing is important that's why the properties that is coming from your human mind is known as intellectual property so now let's talk about right okay so why if you see the slide uh, this is the definition of intellectual property right what is an intellectual property that intellectual property refers to creation of mind such as inventions literary or artistic works design symbol names images used in commerce so there are various type of intellectual property rights are there so invention is also a part of intellectual property rights literary and artistic works are also the part of intellectual property design symbol is agarwal sir is repeatedly saying about this pvp that when plant variety this all are kind of intellectual property right so intellectual property rights mean first it represent as i that mean intellectual possessing or showing some mental capacity p is property any item that is owned by a personal entity i think property 
is a common English word, so we all know about that. Right, a legal entitlement accepted and protected by law. So what exactly right is? Right means ownership. It's a common English word. We know what exactly is right. So why we will take the right of this intellectual property? What happens if you don't get any kind of right on that intellectual property? The, the answer of this question is, in the previous slide, I have told you that please relate, correlate with your the, my session with your day-to-day -day life. What happens if you buy any four-wheeler and if you don't register it? Is it possible to write? It's not. What happens if you buy any kind of land or flat but you won't register it? So, what is the fun of registering your physical properties? The fun of registering your physical properties or the reason of registering your physical properties is to claim the ownership on that. So, you can claim the ownership on your physical property. Tomorrow, tomorrow suppose you will buy a car and I will snatch your vehicle. So, it is not possible to show you proof that this is my vehicle. That's why you, you have to go to nearby RTO and you have to register it. So, this is the sole purpose of registering any kind of property. Exactly in the similar fashion, this is the sole uh, reason why you register your IP. Whenever you are registering your IP, you will get a ownership on that IP, on your IP. And that is com combinedly known as intellectual property rights. So, if someone will ask what exactly is IPR, then you can say that the rights or the ownership conferred on us or un conferred on the entity on which the intellectual property is got registered. If you register your intellectual property, the ownership, the monopoly right conferred to you is known as intellectual property. about uh, different types of IP, various types of IP and what are, why these two different types of IP are. So, let's talk about how many types of IP are there. So, we all know about intellectual property rights. So, sir, so far we have cleared about intellectual property right. So, why there are so many types of IPs are there? If we broadly divide intellectual property rights, there are around 6 to 6. Really, I have missed this plan variety protection right here. I should have included it. So, there, if you broadly divide IP, there are 6 to 7 types of IP are there. So, the first one is patent. The second one is design. The third one is trademark. The fourth one is geographical indication. The sixth one, fifth one is copyright. The sixth one is semiconductor integrated circuit layout design. That means SICLD. That is especially for electronics and IT people. And the seventh one is that means plant variety protection farmers right act. So that is especially much more important for ICR people. So there are if you broadly divide IP, there are six to seven types of IPs are there, right? So again, I am telling you that IP is the superset here in patent, design, trademark, geographical indication, copyright, SICLD, plant variety protection, PPPR are the small part of that superset, right? So these these uh, different type of IPs are the subset. And IP is the super set. So next time if someone will ask, because after this webinar, most of the people, will, what they will ask is, sir, how to register a design patent? So, so there is no term like design patent. Either you have to register your IP under this design protection or you have to register your IP under this patent protection. So patent, design, trademark, geographical indication, copyright, SICLD, plant variety protection, these all are sub part of the bigger set that means IP. So IP is the bigger set and these are the subset of that bigger set. So now there must be a question in your mind. So why there are so many types of IPs are there? Why not a single IP? We got what is intellectual property. We got what exactly intellectual property right is. So why there is not a single IP? So why there is patent design, trademark, GI, copyright and all this subset? So the answer of this question is I just want to explain uh, it a very lucid manner so that those who do not have any basic understanding of IP, they can get. Uh, so why, the answer of this question is why there are so many different kinds of IPs. Again, I am going uh, back to this, uh, your four-wheeler example. So your four-wheeler is a physical property, right? Your land or flat is also a physical property. These both are physical property. So when you purchase your four-wheeler, you get it registered in nearby RTO. That means regional transport of it. Exactly. In the similar fashion, when you purchase any land or when you purchase any flat or when you purchase anything, you can go to a nearby land registration office to get it registered your own house. Is it possible to purchase a four-wheeler and to get it registered in your land registration office? The answer is no. Is it possible to purchase one piece of land and to get it registered in nearby RTO, that means regional transport office? The answer is no. That means every office has a specific purpose. Your four-wheeler must be registered at RTO. Your land must be registered at land registration is exactly in the similar fashion depending upon your invention depending upon your intellectual property it should be registered under either under patents either under design or under trademark or under gi or under pbpr so so patent is meant for an invention so every ip has a specific purpose each subset of that ip has a specific purpose 
and specific time frame. As Agrawal sir has rightly said that geographical indication is for 10 years. Each IP has specific purpose and specific time period. So I am repeatedly telling you why there are 6 to 7 types of IP. So the patent is only meant for a scientific invention. That means if you really did some invention, you should go for patent protection, not for design. Design is for any type of safe configuration, pattern, ornamental or anything two dimensionally or three dimensionally aesthetically designed that is falling under design protection. Trademark that means anything logo or any kind of service mask that is falling under trademark. That means your ICR logo. If you want to protect your ICR logo, you can uh, you can fall, you can uh, register under these trademarks, not under patents. Geographical indication. That means you. I think you know better than me what exactly geographical indication. That means any product that is coming from a particular geographical area that may be protected under GI. Copyright. That means you all are eminent scientists. You do publish research articles. You are very pro at that. So suppose you publishing any kind of research articles or any kind of publication. So that will falling under that will fall under copyright. So similarly, plant variety protection. So if you have any kind of different kind of plant, so that will be uh, falling under PVPI Act. So that's why there are so many types of IPs, and each each IP has a specific purpose and specific time period. So again, I am telling you, intellectual property is the super set. That means it's a bigger set and patent design trademark geographical indication are the subset of that bigger IP, that bigger set. So let's talk about patents first because among this all IP for ICR people especially, I think patents and uh, PVPR, these two uh, IPs are much more vital as in the perspective of ICR. So let's talk about patents first. So, so before going uh, deep into the patent, so now Let's talk about importance of intellectual property right. Sir, so far we have cleared about intellectual property. So we know what exactly is intellectual property rights and how many types of IPs are there and why there are different types of IP are there. So we have cleared about. So what is the importance of intellectual property right? Why we will get it registered? If we get uh, get our car registered in nearby active, we will uh, take some privilege because we will get a registration card. And we are uh, we will take some privilege or we will get some privilege exactly for the land we will get some privilege but why we will register intellectual property what happen if you don't register our intellectual property right see so the why we will register our intellectual property is exactly why we will register our formula our physical property whenever we register our physical property we get the exclusive ownership on that again i am saying you if you buy any four wheeler and if you don't get it registered if i snatch your four wheeler from you you, you you cannot claim before the court of law that it's mine because there is no registration on your name exactly in the similar way if you really invented something for for an example you really invented a plant variety right or suppose you, for an you really uh, invented some genetically modified plant or really some job plasm you did some some kind of research and really come up with an invention but you don't get it registered for an example and someone from europe some agriculture university from Europe or US, if they will snatch your idea, then you cannot claim that this is my idea because it's already gone because you haven't protected your IP. So that is the sole motto behind this intellectual property. So what are the benefits and importance of registering your IP is the first one is protect. That means you can protect your intellectual property. You can exclude others. That means no one without your permission can use your IP. And the second and the third important point is utilize, commercialize and all. That means you can utilize your IP on your wish. You can commercialize your IP. That means ICR is a government body, but uh, suppose you have invented some rice variety, the yield is to multifold, that means two times or three times. You can sell it, uh, you can commercialize it, you can earn some valuable money from that. So there are so many. So this is a business perspective. So there are so many importance and benefits of registering your IP. So IP is an essential business asset in the knowledge economy. And also IP is the essential uh, innovation driven, uh, as essential part to uh, drive innovation. So that's why so that it is the importance of intellectual property, importance of intellectual property right to get it registered as soon as possible. That's why this presentation is there. That's why this awareness campaign is. So uh, this is only for the uh, understanding. So it may happen that in a single product, there are so many IPs are there. So again, I am saying you, IP is the super set and patent design trademark, these are the subset of that bigger set. So in a single product, suppose for an example, I have a mobile phone, right? So I have told you in that previous slide is patent is for scientific invention, right? Design is for shape and configuration. Trademark is for logos, geographical indication, copyright, semiconductor, integrated circuit, layout design. So can you say in the single product, I have a mobile phone, again, I will show you how many 
many types ips are associated in a single form so this is so when we correlate my presentation with your day to day life some people are uh, uh, wearing headphones and some people are using wrist watches so every every electronic gadgets or you are you are surrounded by intellectual properties so for an example i have given you this example of a phone if you take the example of this phone it consists of three or four types of intellectual property right so first one is patents because this is an invention scientific invention this how this radio signal will work how so these all are invention again the logo here is samsung so this is come falling under trademark because this is a samsung logo see the design of this phone so this design is falling under design protection the shape and configuration is falling under design protection there is integrated circuit inside this phone this is semi phone we have four to five types of ip first one is patent second one is design because this is the my phone is different of that phone that is visible in slide third one is uh, semiconductor integrated circuit fourth one is uh, like uh, logo that means trademark and fifth one we all have missed is copyright because the software because the, we all use android right so the software we use here is falling under this copyright protection so see the beauty of ips in a single product we have five different types of ips are there so this is just for an example to make you understand about intellectual property right so this see so trademark is samsung copyrights are soft software user manuals ringtones startup tones images this all are falling under copyright protection patents data processing methods operation of user interface these all are falling under patent protection because second and second button position and second screen as i said the mother rule so uh, again so let's talk about utilization and commercialization of ip so i think we have already talked in the previous slide about the utilization and commercialization of ip so let's keep that so uh, let's talk about importance of ip in the agriculture and allied sector patenting of microbiological and biotechnological invention so whenever you you, uh, you come up with a different type of micro uh, suppose a different bacteria that can uh, degrade oil spill or different type of any type of micro uh, modification microbiological beneficial geographical indication in indian agriculture uh, protection of our traditional knowledge uh, protecting plant breeders right and farmers right in agriculture research and development that is also true the protection of biological research is crucial for food security uh, for future generation that is also the importance of ip in the agriculture and allied sector because agriculture is the backbone of indian economy and also we are getting food for you people or uh, the uh, the people that behind this farmers the backbone of the is crucial for food security for the future generation because we are uh, day to day our population is exposed uh, like uh, increasing in exponential rate and if you don't get enough food so we will die out of starvation so that's why for the future demand or uh, the food security in the future generation the ip and the biological resources the protection of biological resources are crucial so let's now so we have talked about intellectual property intellectual property rights and the basics of intellectual property right and that now let's deep into uh, go deep into patents what is a patent so if someone will ask what exactly a patent is uh, so what you will answer so don't uh, now don't look at the slide let me explain what exactly is a patent is so in my in my uh, terms in my opinion so what i feel is patent is a mutual deal right i don't go by the definition so uh, i request you don't uh, see the slide uh, for the next 1 uh, to 2 minute so so if someone will ask what exactly patent is so don't go uh, read the definition patent is what i feel is patent is a mutual deal so what is a mutual deal so a mutual deal is between two entity or the two authority or the two people so one part of that deal is government of india or the intellectual property office and the one part of the deal is you that mean either icr or the scientists of icr or the scholars and who have invented this an invention so patent is kind of a mutual deal and in that deal one part is government of india one side is government of india and the other side is you and what is happening between you two in the two bit in between two because i said that patent is a mutual deal in that mutual deal what happened you are disclosing all your valuable information or all your invention that what you have done to the government of india you are disclosing everything you are disclosing all your information to the government of india and what government of india is giving you after checking all the invention or after checking all the information if everything goes correct if everything is under the law government of india will give you a monopoly right for the 20 years of period of time so again patent is a mutual deal 
and it's a win-win deal for both of you. So in the one part of deal is you, that means ICR or any scientist of ICR or any individual entity and one part of the deal is government of India or intellectual property of you. So what you both are doing is you are disclosing every information to government of India and government of India is giving you or the intellectual property office is giving you the monopoly right for the 20 years of time period. That means in those 20 years, you are enjoying the monopoly right. That means without your permission, no one can use your invention or can make any product from your invention without your permit. So now let's uh, go by the definition. So patent is granted by a sovereign or state that means government of India to a person that means you that means there is two entities it's a mutual deal giving exclusive right that means government of India is giving you exclusive right to stop others from making using exercising vending and importing right. So that is what government of India is giving to you. In lieu of that what you are giving to GOI is an invention for a limited period of time in exchange for here is the mark in exchange for. So, government of India is giving you the exclusive right for a limited period of time for an invention in exchange for disclosing it in a patent specification such that one anyone having every skill in the art can reproduce time. So, you are disclosing, you are writing a patent specification and you are disclosing everything in a very detailed manner your invention to the government of India and government of India will check or IP office will check every data of yours and if we are happy and if we are not happy, if we are Check if if you are uh, you are falling under the law and everything you are uh, meeting the law then we will give you that exclusive right. So this is all about a patent. So patent is a territorial and exclusive right. Exclusive right or monopoly right for the period of 20 years. Term of patent is 20 years from the date of filing of the application in India or international filing date or PCT application. So this slide is all about the definition of patent. So next time if someone will ask, don't read the definition or don't go by the definition. If someone will ask what exactly patent is, just say in that patent is kind of a mutual deal and it's a win-win deal for both of us. We are giving you, we are giving every, we are disclosing every information, our invention to the GOI or to the IPO and IPO will, IPO will be, our IPO is giving us the right for the 20 years period of time, that is a monopoly right. So, why I have in, uh, included this uh, invention here is, this is a famous invention and the application number is this, system for indicating movement of an article from one position or orientation to another position or orientation. So, this is an Australian application by Bronte. This is the man from Australia and this is C. This is a very basic invention. So what happened? So I am a very uh, fan of car. I am a cricket lover. So what happened in my age when I was in my uh, 12th or uh, engineering. So that time this glowing LED lights are not there. Uh, glowing stumps are not there. So to check whether the ball has been uh, hit the stump or not. We repeatedly check in the third empire screen or uh, uh, videography. But what happened? This man come up with an invention. So this invention reads like. System for indicating movement of an article from one position and orientation to another. So if the movement of an article moves, or if the orientation changes, the LED light will glow. So this is a very basic idea. But see the beauty of this patent is, this is a very basic idea and they got the patent. Now he sold this idea to all the cricket, uh, to the ICC or to the BCCI in a close up. So whenever the ball hits to the storm, if the really the ball touches, the orientation will change. And if the orientation slightly changes, the LED will glow. So it is easier to uh, identify whether the ball has been uh, touched or not. So this is the why I have given uh, this example is because it is easy to understand and the importance is this is a very basic uh, uh, kind of invention. So my point here is to invent something or to pay, to get a patent something, you no need to do some rocket science. Sometimes very basic presentation or very basic invention can get a patent and it can fetch a valuable money on reputation for you. So these are the Indian invention, famous Indian in inventions. That means hepatitis B vaccines. So B vaccine is an active immunizing agent. It is used for the pre prevention of hepatitis B infection in individuals. So these uh, two are the Indian vaccines and also uh, we all went through this COVID web and we all know that there are two kind of vaccines for COVID. One is Bharat Biotech Covaxin and another is Oxford AstraZeneca's Covishield. Bharat Biotech Covaxin is Indian indigenous vaccine and that is also a patented vaccine product. So these all are the examples of a patent uh, application, uh, so the different types of patents. So what is the patent application procedure? Suppose so far we have cleared about in, uh, intellectual property 
intellectual property rights types of intellectual property rights and uh, what exactly a patent is now let's talk about how to file a patent and what is the patent application procedure patent application procedure process at patent office so invention uh, sorry so suppose uh, you you want to file in a patent application so first you have to prepare for a draft application that means let me say you okay want to file a patent application in india what to do what form should i fill and how how much is the fee so now you all are you all make up your mind that i have invented something patent is granted for scientific invention so without invention a basic idea you cannot file a patent so just for suppose you come up with an invention now you have made your mind clear that i want to file a patent so now there must be a question you want to file a patent or you want to file a patent application in india so what are the forms you need how to file a patent application and what is the fees so the answer of how to file a patent application i will come up with a later slide so what are the basic forms you need is form 1 form 2 form 3 form 5 form 18 and form 26 so these are the 5 to 6 basic forms you need to file a patent application before indian patent so what are the form, what are the requirement of the different types of form form 1 is it's a kind of details of application or application. so let me tell uh, show you how this form for form 1 looks like i will Uh, in the later slide, I will show how this form one, form two, form three, form five, and form eighteen looks like. A form twenty six looks like. So form one is the basic of uh, detail of the application. That means all the bibliographic data. That means who is the inventor, who is the applicant, and uh, what is the title of the invention. This all bibliographic information is in form two. Form one. Form two consists of all the detail of the invention. That means so far what you have done, you should write in the form two. That means title of the invention. It's just like your research article. So you all are pro. writing research article in various journals you have published it form 2 is similar like uh, similar to your research article form 3 is details of foreign filing of similar or substantially similar invention filed by the applicant that means whether you have filed any similar application in any foreign country so it's kind of a declaration kind of form 5 that means declaration as to inventors that means who is the inventor you have to declare in the form 5 form 18 is the request of examination right that means after filing form 1 form 2 form 3 and form 5 you have to file form 18 to request for examination that means please examine my application unless you file the form 18 your application will not be examined it will be coming under examination queue once you file form 18 and form 6026 is gpa so so i will in the next slides i will show you what how this form 1 2 3 5 18 looks like okay now these are the basic form we need to file a patent application so what are the forms 1 2 3 5 and 18 and what are the mode of file how you can file a patent application there are two types of file the first one is physical filing that mean you print uh, you download all the forms from our website you fill all the form, forms manually then you put the uh, print out then you come up with a physical filing put any near by your nearby patent office so icr delhi i think uh, the nearby patent office is in uh, indian patent office delhi you have to go to there physically and you have to submit all the documents so this is this is one uh, uh, this is how you can file a physical filing not available for patent agent that is not required online filing that mean e conferencing filing portal in on in that portal you can file uh, e uh, that mean e filing so i will show you how you can file that uh, patents in the, the computer is bit slow okay so just open uh, can you see the google chrome window someone please confirm so just type ipindia.gov.in so this is our official website of uh, office of the controller general of patent design and trademark here you can comprehensive e filing you can see the uh, click over link over here you just type your uh, click over here comprehensive e filing here this is e filing for patents so here you will redirected to an external website and there you can put your uh, username and password otherwise you have to create your profile then you will need dsc that means digital signature certificate that is easy to get and you can file your patent application on your own so this is uh, how you can file a e filing uh, that is e filing portal and how you you can file a computer application uh, patent application digitally right so let's talk about in the next slide this is how you e comprehensive uh, com- comprehensive e filing portal looks like here you can file a patent application digitally you no need to go anywhere uh, physical filing okay so what is the territorial jurisdiction of appropriate office for the application for physical filing that when i have already told you that when for, for there are four types of jurisdiction that mean 
if you are falling under the northern states you can file under this uh, delhi patent office for the south and it's uh, chennai and the for western side is mumbai and for the eastern side is the kolkata so what are the fees you need to file an indian patent application that means uh, i have told you that there are five forms that is mandatory to file an indian patent application the first form uh, the first form is form 1 form 2 form 3 form 5 and form 18 form 1 is chargeable that is 1600 rupees form 2 no fees up to 30 pages and 10 claims form 3 form 5 and form form 2 3 5 is almost free of cost form 1 is 1600 rupees and form 18 is 4000 so total you need 5600 rupees to file a basic that mean ordinary patent application before indian patent office so now the for, the fees has been reduced up to 80% and this is The, after the reduction, the, the fees are five thousand six hundred rupees, and this is uh, this sixteen uh, hundred and four thousand rupees is only applicable for the natural person, or if you are falling under a startup or small entity or an educational institute or any government establishment. That means if ICR is filing, that is falling under this uh, government establishment, and they will uh, the charge of this filing is sixteen hundred rupees plus four thousand. That means five thousand six hundred. There is a eligibility for expedited examination. What people think is normally that patent is a very little. Related work and sometimes it is uh, uh, it it takes more than four to five years or sometimes it eight years to get a patent. But nowadays the scenario is completely changed. The fees has been reduced to eighty percent and the time span is also reduced to around eighty to ninety percent. There is a provision of expedite examination that means file filing of a form eighteen A and under this expedite examination the applic if the application is a startup so these are the eligibility of expedite examination that means the applicant is a government company as defined by the clause forty five so. ICR is falling under this government establishment, so you people are eligible to file an expedited examination. And what happened under this expedited examination is you can get a patent with less than one year also. That means after filing in the expedited route, within one month your file your application will be in queue for examination. Within six months or within nine months you will receive your. If you are, and after this process, it may happen that uh, within ten, one year also you can get a patent or you can get a grant or rejection or depends upon your reply. So, expedited examination is a very vital route for uh, scientist or for uh, educational institute to get a patent or to make this process very fast. So, these are the basic timelines. Uh, what a, what a patent application should follow. Uh, this is the genesis of this timeline. That means to file a provisional to complete a specification, we need twelve. Months. So these are all the timelines. I think timelines are not required as much for this session now. Uh, I will tell you statutory obstacles of patentability. How to? Uh, so uh, this is all about the patenting. How to file a patent application? Now let me tell you how to search for a patent. How to search for a prior art application? Yeah. So this is the searching for a patent. So now we have talked about intellectual property, intellectual property rights, different types of IPR, importance and significance of IPR. Patent. What exactly is patent? Is how to file a patent before Indian Patent Office? What are the forms we need? What are the forms uh, fees we have to pay? And how to file a patent application? Now. Let's talk about searching for patent. So why we will search for a patent? Because we have done some invention and we have already want to file a patent. So why we will search for a patent? What happen if we don't uh, do any kind of prior acts? So the answer of this question is why we will search for a patent is because every inventor or every scientist they feel this is a normal human instinct that everyone is feeling that my invention is great and I am really doing something great. But that is exactly not true. I am not discouraging all of you, but some all of the inventor is feeling that my invention is great and I am really doing something best. So that's why to check whether you are doing something best or not, whether what is the research going on your on your field across the globe, we are introducing here is the prior art search, and this kind of search is free of cost. You should know the prior art search before filing of a patent. You should do a basic prior art search before filing a patent. So why this is the idea behind is that you. You will get a idea, basic idea, where you stood or where you stand in front of the whole world regarding your research, right? For an example, you are doing some genetically modif uh, modification in your milk in your bed. So you are you did all your effort, you did all your research, and you come up with a genetically modified bed, right? And you want to file a patent. So when you do a prior art search, you have now now you got your point that what you have done right now is already have been done in US. 
one year before. So now there is no fun of filing a patent application, right? So that way, that's why this prior art search is required. So how we will do this prior art search? So there are two ways that you can do a prior art search. So what exactly is prior art? So what is the definition of prior art is anything, any information that is being published before your application is filed is known as prior art. That means suppose today 1-8-2022, you come up before Indian Patent Office School Kata and you want to file a patent application. So whatever the filing, whatever the publication, be it a patent or be it a non-patent or any, be it a newspaper clipping or cutting, anything, or be it any kind of first, uh, speech or YouTube recording, whatever that is available in the public domain before your filing date is known as prior, right? So it is clear about what exactly is a prior art. So, so why you will do a prior art search? That is also clear. Now let's talk about how we can search for a prior art. So what is, how we can search for a patent? So there are two ways that we can search for a prior art. The first one is Google patents. First we will talk about Google patent. Then we will talk about impasse. That means it's our Indian patent office, in-house Indian patent office database. So how we can search for a prior art in Google patent? Let's see into it. Just type Google patent. Just like Google scholar, you just type google patent okay so you will uh, get a google patent link here so suppose your area of interest just tell me any area of interest for for example my area of interest is gene editing if i put gene editing here whatever patent application is being published or being granted or being filed by any other inventor across the globe that will appear here so if i uh, click over the first uh, application here so there are so many search items here you can put gene editing or gene silencing anything any field of interest you want you can just type gene editing or any type any field of interest of yours then you will get all the patent application that is being filed so you will get overall data that means what research is going on across the globe on this topic. So this is the data pride. There are so many filters. You can change or you can put all your filters to get your data here. So if I click over here, so this is the application of gene editing. See, I think my internet is a bit slow. That's why it is getting late. Okay. So uh, I got a first hit that means optimize CRISPR-Cas9 system and method for gene editing in stem cell or gene editing in plants. You can type here. Anything you can type gene editing. A kind of method for creating a rice salt gene OSRR2 mutant in animation. So if I click over here, a stimulation gene editing and haploid induction. So I think you you will get better than me regarding this techno technicality of this uh, application. See, so this is an application that has been uh, filed by I think US uh, US Patent Office, and this is an US application. I feel yeah, this is prior to US application. So this is the definition. This is the title. Simultaneous gene editing and haploid induction. This is this is the abstract of the invention. And uh, see, I told you that patent is for 20 years period of time period. So the application has been filed by uh, different type of uh, priority date is this, and the application anticipation expiry is 4/12/2037. And these are the claims, and this is the description. So this is how this is the field of invention. This invention is related to the field of plant biotechnology. Specifically, agricultural biotechnology and gene editing as well as plant breeding. So, this inventor has done something, done, done some invention regarding this plant, uh, uh, like uh, gene editing in plants. So, this is a United States patent application and this patent is granted. Here, you can see every details of the patent application. The application is filed on this. The application is filed by this uh, Sinjeta uh, particip uh, participations and this application is published on 27-9-2018. And the application is granted. 14-5-2019, this application is granted. And the application is anticipated expiration is 4-12-2037. So these are the claims. A method of editing may genome DNA comprising. So why I have showed you is that there are 12 claims. So there are so many sequence ID they have changed. So this is how you can search for a patent application or you can you can search in your uh, area of interest. So you will get a basic idea uh, that how you can uh, uh, search for a patent application. So this is the one way of uh, doing a prior art search. Suppose you, you have really doing some research and you want to file a patent application before Indian patent office. I request you personally to file a uh, uh, to fight uh, to do a prior art search in Google Patent, so you will get a basic idea. So if you if you again read this optimized CRISPR Cas9 system and methods for gene editing in stem cell, you can see this is a Japanese application, and this uh, these are the inventors. And this application is filed. This is the priority date, and this application. 
application is filed. See, th this application is also granted and the anticipated expiry is 6-5-2036, right? And uh, I told you that the patent application is granted for the 20 years period of time. The monopoly is granted for the 20 years period of time. See, the application is filed on 6-5-2016. So, 20 years in addition to the 6-5-2016 is 6-5-2036. So, on 6-5-2036, this application will expire and then it will come under public domain, right? So this is the priority date and this is the application date. So this is the priority date and this date is vital. Before this date, that means 11-5-2015, before this date, whatever is being published anywhere in the world that will fall under this prior art category. Okay, so that may be uh, posed as a prior art for this application. So this is the con concept of prior art and this is how we can do a prior art search. Again, we will, so this is how we can do a prior art search in Google Patent. So there is another way how we can do a prior art search. The second way is in pass. That means it is our in-house website. Again, I will go to this ipindia.gov.in where you can go to public search, right? Just open ipindia.gov.in. This is our uh, Indian Patent Office website, go to the public search. So you will read, uh, then there is a patent that means public search patent trademark design, uh, electronic register patent agent. Just go to the patents, you will redirect it to an external website where you will get this in pass that means Indian Patent Advanced Search System. So this is our database of Indian Patent Office. You just type whatever you want to search here, right? Whatever, like I will type here ICAR. Let's see what comes up. Okay, I will type here ICAR. This is the applicant name I will type. So there are so many fields you see. Uh, title name, abstract, complete specification, application number if you, if you have patent number, applicant name, whatever. There are so many operators are there. You can type anything you want. Suppose you know what is the title of your invention? Just you put the title, then put the capture, then you will get the invention. So what I do here is now I will do, I will put ICR in the applicant name, then I will search. The capture here, you have to uh, put the capture, okay. then we will go for a search. Okay. So these are the application that is being filed by ICR. Uh, we, we can see the ICR application. So there are 407 applications that is being filed by ICR. So if I open an application, let's see, sugarcane thrash manager comes table server. Okay, a polymer computational process of filtration, high density chip. So, there are so many applications. Uh, okay, so let's open this. Okay, again, you have to put a capture here MM2 methods for producing low cholesterol chicken and chicken eggs. So, this is the application uh, in the field of invention is food and ICR directorate of Pol uh, poultry research Rajendra Nagar Hyderabad. This is filed by ICR Hyderabad, and I think it is a regional institute. And if you every data you can see here just go to the complete specification or view application status here if you put view application status here you will see the status that whatever the status is there you can see the status and see this is an ordinary application and the applicant name is that date of filing is 29 12 2020 and this is the application number <laughs> this application is being filed and this application is being published that means for this application rq is not filed that means form 18 is not filed here if you see view document status here see you can see all the documents here in the previous slide i have showed you five documents that means form 1 form 2 form 3 form 5 and form 18 so these are the forms so just click over here in form 1 if you click form 1 here you will get form 1 if you uh, click form uh, declaration form 5 this is form 5 i will show you all the form uh, forms see this is form 3 so form 3 is declaration of inventorship it's a one page form so you have to declare that i haven't filed any application anywhere in the world except india so this is the declaration and if you have filed any application out of the, outside the country you have to declare here so this is the basic declaration in form 3 and this is the form 2 I have told you that form 2 is the complete specification that means it's it consists of every data of your invention i will come to come to this form 2 after one minute let's talk let's see the form 5 form 5 is declaration of inventorship that means who is the inventor see tarun kumar bhattacharya and a rajendra prasad these both scientists are the invention inventors are for this invention so these are uh, so these both people are are the inventors for this invention so this is the declaration of inventorship 
form 5 and this is the form 1 form 1 is just a bibliographic information is the basic form that means you will you have to file all the bibliographic data that means who is the applicant applicant here is the icr director of directorate of poultry research and this is the address of the applicant country of resident nationality this all uh, bibliographic data is atarun kumar bhattacharya and a rajendra prasad these are the inventors so title of the invention is methods for production for chicken having low cholesterol content in serum and next one, this is the inventor invention okay so now let's go to the form 2 so this is the most vital form of all the form because it is the complete specification it consists of all the data so here you can see this is the title of the invention this is the complete specification this is the, this is the applicant and let's talk about this is the field of the invention so form to consist of field of the invention background then summary of the invention objective of the present invention then all the brief description of the drawings then all the data that means detailed description of the invention and the last part of the description uh, the form 2 is claims so this is the only part that is that is the difference between your research publication or your patent specification so your patent specification or patent uh, publication and your research publication is quite similar the only difference is claims so claims is the most vital part or uh, portion of a complete specification or your patent application so claim is the only part which is adding the legal value to your patent application and you are enjoying the 20 years of monopoly time only for your claim set so let's see what are the claims here these are the examples and uh, lastly we will uh, find the claims here so, yeah so this is the claims we claim a method for making a chicken embryo uh, hepatocyte ch primary cell culture with reduced cholesterol content the method comprising the steps of so this is the steps how you can reduce the cholesterol content, uh, content of a uh, chicken uh, uh, embryo so this is how we can claim and this is how all about the patent specification is so th th there are i think 12 claims no no there are 15 claims so this is how we can search for a patent application so this application is filed by icr so there are various applications i have showed you all the application is filed by icr uh, so you can search and you can search you can put every any kind of data that means field of your application or paid, uh, title of this application so you can get the basic idea how you can search for a patent application or how can you can do it basic prior art search so this is all about today's presentation and uh, for the next of this uh, session we will come up again i will come up with the 5th august and i think you get all this uh, information and i think to make this presentation much more uh, beneficial you have to ask questions because it's better if you feel uh, to ask some questions because it is uh, i feel it will uh, much more interactive and uh, uh, beneficial yeah any questions if any participants want to ask please raise your hands or write in the chat box okay someone is asking whether adil is asking can we get this presentation uh, yes ma'am of course uh, i think my colleague karna will say a presentation with you definitely you will get after this 5th august uh, session we will say the no okay. there are so many questions i will answer one by one yeah yeah uh, so the first question is uh, okay if we file on our own do we need parent permission from our office uh, uh, rs uh, something uh who is asking this question if we file on our own do we need prior permission from our office so this is uh, this is uh deal with your contract law that mean that mean how you are dealing with your office so this is none of our business and i think icr is a specific kind of policy that you cannot file your patent on your own any kind of ip right that is being uh, established inside the establishment of icr or invented inside the establishment of icr the applicant is icr so the, all the IP rights belongs to ICR. So of course you have to take the prior permission from your uh, office to before filing a patent application. I feel so. So I think Manju ma'am will better answer this question. Okay. So the next question is, can you please say this? Okay. So I will if you file now. Can we get this presentation? Or is it possible? Very important. Should we wait and publish before? Okay. Should should one is to wait for the patent to be published before making any publication in journals? This is a very important question. So if I answer this, I will take five minutes i think i will cover this in uh, uh, 5th august uh, session okay should one has to wait for the patent to be published before making any publications in general? so normally what happened in indian context is we people are much more interested to publish research article because it is having a lot of uh, 
uh, academic benefit because really if you if, if we invented something we did something great we rushed into publication but uh, normally we ignore the uh, thing of ip here what we suggest you is what we encourage you is to file ip or to file a provisional specification before filing uh, publishing your article right so there are two kind of publication if i if i have included here uh, this provisional complete it would have uh, like after 12 30 also this session will not uh, finish but uh, there are two kind of publication one is complete specification and one is provisional specification and this provisional specification is only applicable in the indian context no other ip office in anywhere in the world they are giving you this kind of facility the provisional specification facility is only given by indian patent office to you you kind of people so what happen in the provisional specification is suppose you have invented something right and you want to publish it in your any kind of publication or any kind of report journal what we suggest is just file a provisional specification here so provisional speci- the 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 main the, uh, the basic idea behind a provisional specification is to keep your priority date intact right i have told you that whatever suppose 18 2022 is the today's date and today you file your provisional specification if today you file your provisional specification your priority date is 18 2022 so whatever prior act that is being published before today it will be your prior act whatever uh, information that is published is before 18 2022 will be your prior act so we encourage you to file a provisional specification today you will keep your priority date secure so today is your priority date then you go for a publication that means research publication so after you feel that you if you really want to file a patent application just come with after 12 months so there is a time frame between 12 months between a provisional and a complete then you can file your complete specification on your own so what happened in that period is you will secure your priority date as today so today is your priority date so this is the fun behind provisional specification so we before filing any kind of pub- publication or any kind of research publication if you feel like your pet, your invention is really inventive we encourage you to file at least a provisional specification to keep your priority date intact so what is what after the period of 20 years so so after the period of 20 years it will fall under the public domain and then this is a public knowledge anyone can use it you know whenever you get some fever you used to get a dolo 650 aajkal aur wo paracetamol 500 koi nahi khata it's a very नॉर्मल हम लोग डोलो सिक्स फिफ्टी खा लेते हैं सो द कॉस्ट ऑफ डोलो सिक्स फिफ्टी इज ट्वेल्व टैबलेट्स द कॉस्ट टेन टैबलेट्स इज अप ऑफ डोलो सिक्स फिफ्टी इट विल कॉस्ट हम ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी रुपीज बिकॉज पैरासिटामल इज ए ड्रग and the patent has expired in late 70s that's why you are getting it at a very cheaper rate that's why so after the 20 years of period of time you, once the patent will be lapsed or once the patent got expired it is under the public domain so anyone can use it what is the name of the search you spoke so there are two types of search the first one is google patent and the second one is in pass just go to the google and type google patents or just go to the google or type in pass so in pass is indian patent advanced search system just type in pass ip india otherwise you can go to this ip india website just see this is the ip india website just go to the basic ip india website again i am showing then you can go for public search this is open for public then after this public search you go for patents you will redirect it to an external website this is in pass that mean indian patent advanced search system there are so many search field here you just type whatever you want then you put the capture then search you will get how to protect ipr in very early stages how to protect ipr in very early stages so i want to get exactly what you want to ask that mean if you again i am saying you if you want to get the protection of ipr in the very early stages the first idea behind is to keep your priority date intact aap apna priority date secure kar lo ek din mein bahut problem hota hai ek din mein bahut sara maan lijiye ki aaj maine koi soch raha hu file karne ke liye main so उससे कल हो गया और ऑस्ट्रेलिया में कोई फाइल कर दिया यूरोप में कोई फाइल कर दिया फॉरगेट अबाउट ऑस्ट्रेलिया एंड यूरोप टूडे अमिटी यूनिवर्सिटी से भी कोई फाइल कर सकता है तो ईच डे इज इम्पोर्टेंट ईच आवर इज इम्पोर्टेंट दैट्स वाई द कंसेप्ट ऑफ प्रायोरिटी डेट इज देर so whatever you want to do if you want to protect your ip in a very nascent stage just file a provisional specification for filing a provisional specification you don't need to give 5400 rupees you don't need to give the complete specification you don't need to draft the claims just type in just type abstract in a single page and just file the provisional specification in patent office we are not checking your provisional specification we are just giving you the priority date so that's why we encourage you to file a priority provisional specification to keep your priority date just 
if you want to protect your pro, uh, uh, IPR in a very early stage. And after that, you have 12 years or 12 months of time period. 12 months are you have, you can file a complete complete specification in that. If you have a whole invention ready, then you can file a complete specification today. If you don't, then you can file a provisional specification. The amount of information you have, you think that I have to wait for 6 months to get the result. Don't wait for 6 months, don't wait for the next 6 months. Don't wait for the next 6 months. Because in this 6 months, you can file another one. So you can file a provisional specification today. If you get a priority date, then you have to, within the 12 months, then you have to, within the 12 months, you have to, within the time period, 12 months, then you can file a provisional specification. Sorry, complete specification. Can we file for a patent if we are still working on this on the some aspect? So I think I have already answered for this question. Yes, you can file a patent if we if you are still working on the some of the aspects because you cannot file a complete specification, but you can file a provisional specification. आप कुछ आज research कर रहे हैं और आपको लग रहा है कि मुझे छह महीने में मेरा result आ जाएगा, but आप six months wait करना पड़ेगा आपको. Complete specification file करने के लिए. Once you have filed a complete specification, you cannot change it. Normally आप कुछ ज़्यादा add नहीं कर सकते उसमें. तो मेरा request ये है कि आप provisional specification आज ही file कर दीजिए. Then आपका priority date आपको आज मिल जाएगा. उसके बाद आपको जब भी result आएगा, जब भी आपको लगे कि you are complete with your invention, then file the complete specification. Is it is it research? Yeah. Hello, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Sir, I have a question. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. We are in and we want to trademark registration. So, who will be the applicant, sir? As the incubator institute or PE director, sir? Adil, your voice is not clear. Can you? Yes, I couldn't hear you. Yeah, the it's breaking. The voice is breaking. Okay, uh, I'm just typing a question. So, we yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you sir. can type it in the chat box. Hello. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, this is Dr. Balasubramaniam from uh, Directorate of Cashew Research Futur. Yes, sir. sir, thank you very much for uh, giving informative lecture on this IPR basic information. Thank you very much. The main important thing is actually you have made it clear that actually the 20 years of time is actually allocated for. Uh, granting a patent under the time period uh, given for that one. But in one of the examples, what you have shown, especially for the patent awarded to the Japan, I mean, Japan uh, International Nationalist, that uh, after 20 years, it is mentioned as anticipated expiry date. Yeah. When it is very clear, it is actually after, I mean, it is given for 20 years. What is the meaning of anticipated expiry date? Okay, so if I will go to that, it will be very long. So, Caesar, actually, why there is written as an anticipated expiration? Because Google patent is a third party uh, database. It is not an authenticated website, right? So the, the expiry of the patent is 20 years. It's strictly 20 years from the date of filing. So go, what do what Google do is Google patents do it. It's a third party, it's an external website. What they do is they are collecting the data of top five IP countries. So they will collect the data of US and Australia simultaneously and they will publish in the Google patent. So what Google feel here is so if the priority date or if the application date is 6-5-2016, if it is true, then the anticipated expiration is 6-5-2036, right? And okay. what happens and another point here is so if I go to that, so it will be very deep, sir, because some of you will not understand. And what and the next point is there is a provision of post-dating your application. There is a provision of post-dating. That is a different idea. So that's why patent law is a bit complicated. So it's not so much easy. So there is an idea of post-dating. For an example, the application file on 6-5-2016, right? Yes. And this application is already granted. That is a different thing. But suppose today you filed a patent application. So that is 1-8-2022, right? You file the provisional application. And there is a one month of period of time that you can file a complete specification. For an example, take for instance, 1-8-2022 is a today's date and you file a complete specification. If your patent is brought granted, so what is your anticipated expiration if you got a grant? So 1-8-2022 plus 20 plus years. Today is 42. Yes, it's 42. For, uh, then what happened after 1-8-2022, after six months of period, you say that, sir, I want to post-date my application, right? So your application is post-dated for four months. Let's say okay. for six months. So whatever, 12 months, within 12 months, you can post-date your application. So if you post-date your application, your anticipated expiry will be again extended up to four months. That's why it is written as an anticipated expiration. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. And there is an important question uh, from Dr. Yogesh uh, Kumar that if a prior art is not from India, can we file a patent on the same invention in India? See, one thing. When we do prior art search, that is irrespective of the country or irrespective of the territory. But the patent right is territorial in nature. That means if you got a grant, 
inside before indian patent office by indian patent office your ip right is valid in the indian territory you cannot claim that my ip right is uh, available in europe or in us and australia but in the context of prior art do i mean new zealand may be koi publication ho gaya aur aap aaj file kar rahe then it can be your prior art it can be considered as your prior art that's why patenting publication suppose aap aap icr ne kuch file kiya aaj you publish ho gaya so it will affect the patenting system across the globe aur koi bhi patent wahan pe file nahi kar sakta kahin pe bhi baith ke kyunki aap already file kar liye this application is already come with the public domain so your application can be the prior art for them kyunki aap already pehle research kar chuke hain so yes the answer is yes if a prior art is not from india no can we file a patent on the same invention the answer is no if the prior art is not it irrespective of any from anywhere you, this can be your product for your application the next question is uh, thank you very much uh, the variety developed by agriculture university under icr has with the name under paper is only and how au showed their claim i couldn't get this uh, question exactly i think uh, uh, dhiren i think i can answer this Uh, uh, because uh, I, uh, the variety is developed by the agriculture university under acrip but in this case uh, since acrip is given by icr to the agriculture university the owner of the patent uh, uh, the patent be under fra agriculture university part of that the owner will um, icr okay uh, there there is a very peculiar question or uh, fun question is if two separate inventors suppose file a same technology at the same time how such disputes will be settled both at national and international level actually it is very rare this type of scenario normally uh, is not doesn't happen but if such type of scenario is there so it, it depends upon so many things that mean suppose the same inventor or the separate inventor in the same technology which whoever techno which, which technology is better or whose technology is more refined we are giving the grant to them but this type of scenario is really rare i think i have to ask my seniors if they in their entire life if they uh, met this kind of uh, uh, scenario or not i think so, the crispr case is again the legal thing is going on because of this only so we are on the incubator in a government institute and we want to file a trademark so what will be the applicant so who will be the applicant icr or institute so again uh, this is a this is a, like a, this is a contract so whenever i admitted in iit bombay or any icr institute i have to sign a declaration that whatever if you go join any company suppose you work for tcs or you work for infosys so this is the policy of a company that decides who claim who own your ip right it may happen that icr if icr will give you a free hand then the applicant will be you otherwise no uh, normally i think it is not uh, the case so if you are really incubating in inside a incubator uh, with uh, inside the territory of a government establishment that means the applicant will be icr or the institute the inventor may be you there are two kind of things remember one is the inventor and the second is the applicant the applicant must be icr or any institute the inventor may be you or if you want to if you don't want to get the credit to the icr you can file on the application on your own but that may be a bit complicated if icr can take any legal action i can help so it is uh, depends upon the contract you have signed between these two parties can we remove or add inventor name after issuing if you the answer is you can add inventor but you cannot remove any normally this is the discretion part on the controller because there is no clear cut guidelines in the act that mean patent act 1970 that mean what is the way of removing an inventor addition of an inventor that is possible and removal of the inventor that is not possible because normally if you feel in a uh, normal if you normally human feelings that mean you suppose you forget to add my name that's possible but how can you remove someone's name because first he admitted that he is the inventor then he realized that he haven't invented so that's not possible so removal kind of things normally it is on discretion on the controller but normally controllers are not allowing for removal but addition is possible there is a separate form of addition of inventor you can file it. i think some rupees 800 or some 1600 rupees is there you can add the inventor in the later stage no issue yeah arnav is rightly explained whatever if you want want to add also in an inventor you have to 
take the permission or take the written permission from all the other inventors that we are adding him and if they consent after the consent you can add the unit suppose students applying for patents for their work done at icr institute who will be the owner student or icr or the university again the same question icr will be the applicant and students will be the inventor so you will get the credits as is as an inventor you will get all the credit and icr because you are taking the money from icr you are using the establishment of icr so i request please give some credit to icr also because it is our apex agriculture uh, research body in our country so icr will be the um, i think owner anyone else otherwise i think uh, we had uh, Star, uh, dhiren had taken lot of questions and uh, anyone else any other participant want to ask okay, if if not uh, i think we can thank uh, Mr. Dhiren um, Patnaik ji for giving such for such a nice presentation and very interactive mode. And just uh, one point I want to add because you had shown uh, the patents of ICR in the uh, in Indian Patent Office. Uh, so request here the participants also when you file the patent, please put ICR. Otherwise earlier. Uh, we under ICR we have different institutes. They used to file from in the name of the institute only. So then the problem comes when you have to search for ICR patents. The, it will not come under ICR. So you have to put ICR uh, like um, uh, NRI or whatever the institute is. Please put ICR and the institute when you file the patents. So I think uh, with this we have come to the end of this session. So thank you very much, Dhiranji, and also. I want to make an announcement that uh, this is a series of uh, lectures. We will have continuous five days uh, from up to 5th of August every day from 10.30 to 11.30. So, so today being the inaugural function also, we have taken a little extra time and thank you uh, the IPO Kolkata for taking up all the questions and the speaker here and uh, thank you for all the participants and also I encourage the other uh, participants if they uh, you can um, if they have not registered please register and join for this particular webinar series that will be very helpful to protect your IPs in your taking your research in the next step so thank you very much with this uh, Mr. Arnab you want to say something Arnab Bhattacharya uh, ma'am uh, can I say something yeah uh, yeah Please, please. Yeah. So before leaving, I have one request to everyone because uh, this is whatever I have presented is under the SNEPOM scheme, right? I mean, this is a very basic kind of awareness. So 5th August, again, I will take another session. I hope that I will uh, help uh, you regarding creating this awareness. But before that, I, I have one request that what what is the agenda or what you want to listen from me so it will be better if you combine and if you give me an agenda so that i will prepare the slide otherwise under this nipam this is a very basic kind of presentation and i will cover design copyright and all these things that is not so much vital for all of you so this is i have to go one step ahead and i have to request everyone and if you really want to listen from anything beautiful of your area of interest because i don't believe in reading just the slides and to making the formality because if you have any kind of uh, request or any kind of uh, thing that you want to know please give me a mail or drop me a mail to arna so that i will make the slides according to that so that in the next 45 minute session I will cover that topics rather just reading the slides and taking this kind of formality. So that is my only 